I did not play yesterday, um, because I frankly just missed the time, honestly. Also, because I was messing around with a new recording setup, because uh, I have no longer, I have decided I no longer am using Shadowplay, I'm using OBS. Um, and it's quite the jump, to say the least. I think there's also a massive increase in audio quality, hopefully. Or at least a massive reduction in background noise. Yeah, um, huge thanks to, uh, LB in the, uh, in the Discord for posting the Make Any Mic Sound Expensive in OBS. <laughs> I don't think I sound expensive, but I definitely sound better than, than Shadowplay. I know it wasn't intended for myself, but, you know, it happens to work out. Because, frankly, this sounds much better, and I don't have to worry about the stupid audio delay when transitioning between this and the actual game. I don't think, anyways. Uh, the, the problem is, uh, I don't have an indicator on screen as to whether things are recording or not, so I can only really hope for the best. Anyways. Uh, we have motion, no ship upgrades, and 10 points below average turn health. We are on a barge A with unknown amount of infestation types. I am guessing two. Medium hull integrity, volatile age. Uh, three per hour. I don't know what the audio, I don't know what the video quality is going to be like, because again, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know about the audio, volume, audio levels either. I did some test recordings, and they were, I think they were all right, but I'm not sure. Uh, provide your feedback. Anyways, let's begin. Nothing. Thank you, LB, for that. That video was very helpful. I might actually somewhat be able to wrap my head around OBS now. Uh, Jonathan, sensor and speed boost. I'm taking that sensor. Um... Oh wait, you have to tell. <laughs> funny. Right, can't tell if you don't have a tow. I ran into a weird message I've never seen before. I don't know if that... I don't know if I can find it in one of my test recordings, but I think it had something to do with a drone moving away while I was transferring an upgrade or something? I don't know. Yep. All right. What are you? Ship surveyor. I'll grab that in a second. Excuse me. Alright, we'll make it. Just about. Uh, fortunately, we didn't have to do the whole like, swapping speed boost without moving thing, which is nice. Cause that's annoying. OBS doesn't like my graphics card drivers for some reason, even though NVENC works fine through Shadowplay. 
So I don't quite know what's going on there. Sentry is one of our confirmed infestation types. Um, alright. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a second. Um, also, I think I split the audio channels. I don't know, I, there's a box and I took some things for audio tracks. I don't know, until I hear the re-encode and handbrake I won't know. I probably should have tested that earlier, but I didn't. Uh, where do we meet the sentry? Put it in R5. long, hopefully. Any time now. I don't know, I had to go pretty aggressive on the noise cancelling because my setup is quite loud. So, that may be messing with the, uh, quality of it. And I don't know if it's, cut if it's cutting, like, half my words off. I did set a limiter at the very bottom end, so hopefully, hopefully that does its job. Alright, no radiation leak, that's nice. take a bit of a risk and we're just gonna go A2 immediately. Because, um, yeah, if I don't, then the airlock's gonna fail. And that's not good. Alright. Two, get in here. Find that generator. There's no airlocks. Crap. Well. That goes that. There's a terminal in there. 
Hopefully it didn't have ship scan. Fortunately, no Berlin Open Doors. Motion says, who knows? Also, like the longest room ever made. Alright. Well, we know our second infestation type. So we have Sentry and Slime. I'm probably too slow for this. Oh yeah, I'm too slow for this. Scrap saved at least. All right. Okay, I thought it was A2. No close command failure, please. I will be playing to vent A5. Once I get to its generator, which it didn't say any generator was destroyed, so either we got really lucky and it didn't destroy the generator, which doesn't really matter at this point anyways, or, alright we're good, or it generates in another room. We're betting on the ladder. Since it's just Sentry, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Speaking of Sentry... Should probably also start baiting Slime at this point. Screwed, basically. That's quite an early airlock breakage. Whenever that happens, I don't know if that even picks up honestly now, but whenever I do that, that's me coughing. So, yeah. Uh, so, it did not get a slime spawn. No known one, anyways. Fortunately, I don't even have to edit it because I can just flip up my mic on my headset and it's like, oh, then it's gone. That's it. It stops recording. So, that's convenient. Alright. Let's get the sentry out. I 
probably means we have to irradiate the sentries. So that's going to be fun. Quite a bit longer than I thought. I should probably get to that at this point. Are too slime. That is not great. I will deal with that in a second. I had a feeling that I was like, oh, I should probably move the center in R4 so I can access it. Yeah, good call. Uh, in fact, let's do that now. Hopefully it isn't right in front of the generator or right in front of the airlock. You shouldn't have any use for that power inlet now. Just remember the sentries in R13. Sentry in there. We'll find out soon. Sentry. To be fair, it could be both. the slime spawn, this is going to make irradiating very interesting if R15 doesn't have a power inlet. Because we'd have to force open A7, which we can do, but that's not going to mean, that means it's going to be very uncontrolled. More in control than I'd like. So yeah, we're moving R13 century into R8, and we're gonna move the R15 century into R13. Actually, we can induce radiation from R12. Probably not ideal, but it could work. Oh, hang on a second. The sentry has gotten stuck. That's what that means. I was wondering why it was taking so long to move. Yeah, the sentry is stuck on a doorway. Dock there. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep. We're gonna have to get the sentry unstuck. Somehow. Problem is, it depends on what door it's stuck on. It's stuck on the D38 door. Oh, that's awkward. That means I'm gonna have to get around this sentry. Oh, we did it. And there's our power inlet. Sentry saw me when I entered the room, but I think I drew, drew, drove out of its radius. That was close. So, this sentry is problematic because it needs to get out of here. I can only move it into. Well, that complicates things further. I can only move it into. R9. If I move it into R13, I effectively will lose access to the sentry. Actually, that's a good idea. Also, the problem is I can't irradiate sentries anymore. Yeah, I can't irradiate sentries because I don't have a room with radiation in it, so I'd have to wait for a radiation leak. Medium hull integrity, it's not impossible, but probably take a while. So I may as well move the sentry in R13, because I can't radiate it, because I don't have a room with only radiation in it, because as soon as I open up, like this room, it just get vacuumed. Actually, I can go I can go through airlock, so actually I can still induce radiation via R4 or R5. And then when I'm here, I can unstuck the sentries. Yeah, alright, that's the plan. So the only problem is I have no clue to tell when the sentry is out. Basically, wait a few minutes. Or, no, probably not a few minutes, that's probably excessive. So basically, I'm banking on this sentry getting stuck. Based on the fact it's been quite a bit of time and it's not moved, I assume it's actually gotten stuck. Ha! It got stuck. Lovely. Oh, there's scrap there. Wow. That's unfortunate. So yeah, the sentries are stuck right now. As soon as I open D38, they'll be able to move and rope again. So don't do that. The good news is if there's anything in these rooms, we have a safe escape room. D14, D33, I suppose it's clear. Alright, there's a recent slime spawn in here. And there's an open door.
If there's a sentry in that room, we're screwed. There is no sentry in that room, but unfortunately we can't access it. It's a very interesting situation. I could probably... I have a sentry in here. That is probably not going to be able to be irradiated. This one in... Well, I have two in here, one in here. The problem is, as soon as I open this door, they're going, they're going to go down here, shoot this, and then they'll be free to roam around wherever. And unfortunately, I have this door open. So if I do induce radiation here, it's just going to spread. Yeah. Probably can't irradiate sentries. If I was a bit quicker, I could have gotten there. Alright, I think we just cut our losses and leave. Sensor. That is one thing we have, actually. Once we pass the slime timer, I'm gonna go take a look. See. We might be able to use R8. Alright. Does this power R8 fully? Yes. This doesn't quite work the way I'd like, but it could still work. Actually, I no, never mind, because as soon as I'd have to have. Enough sensors to keep the sentry. No, wait. Because if I open this, then it's going to be connected to another room and the sentry's going to move out. Unless I use the boarding craft. That's an interesting proposal. Use the boarding craft, move this into the boarding craft, induce radiation via the boarding craft. I have to use the boarding craft to put radiation in. Alright, we'll move the sentry into R11 temporarily. Right. Plan. Move sentry into boarding craft. Bo move sentry into R11. Use boarding craft to radiate R4. Pick up sentry from R11. Uh, put it back into R4? Put it back into R4 with a bunch of sensors here. So it stands in front of D42. We open D42, grab sentry scrap, run away. That is plan. This will either work fine, or it will be a complete failure. 
nothing in between. Also, hopefully there's no slime in R4. That could throw off lands, too. 